So what we want to try to do from your point of view is go through a process with every single shot so we're setting up the golf ball almost deliberately to start with, okay? And if it means taking 10, 15 seconds per shot, I'd rather that happen, get through a good process. What we see sometimes in the swing here now, you can see you've hit a golf ball there now. It went a bit to the left because that club face was a little bit sort of pointing back to the mirror. You see your left wrist now for the hinging round there. Hit the golf ball, pretty good strike. As you get a good strike, you think, okay, I'll keep the same grip position. Now we don't move our feet and then we really awkwardly stretch forward probably 18 inches or a couple of feet further away from where the ball was hit from to try and reach a golf ball. You're not ungripping the club. So in that position here now, there's a pretty good chance. There's a lot of tension in the back of your hands there, back of your shoulder blades, and your hands trying to really stretch. Just ungrip it, step forward and drag the ball back in. And if you stay in that position here now, as you see when you come back, you do then actually ungrip it a little bit now and try and loosen your hand off. But generally, you create a bit of a sort of tense movement rather than going through that process, okay? Then you get a couple more after that one. Then we come towards the good one, okay? So put the golf club down behind the golf ball. Get your left hand on there in the grip. So you see your left thumb now a bit more on top of the grip there. Mm. In your fingers as we get it. That's, that was better there. Oh, yeah, you had it. There you go, good. Then put your right hand on. That's it. Get your right hand on there now. And then we can set our feet. So we're going through a process now for every shot to get ourselves set. And what we're looking for now in terms of the swing, and the one only swing thought we're going to try and create now, as that club goes back, we're going to hinge the wrists, get that club pointing up in that L-shaped position there. Okay, now, if that arm can stay extended, I don't say straight, because straight for other guys feels locked and bended at all. It can hinge and curve a little bit, but mm. we want to be hinging this way. Likewise, I don't want to be locking out, because if you lock your arm, you lock your wrist, it's a bit of a mess at everything. Okay, so as the club goes back there now, you can see the club face. We can start seeing a little bit of the club face, so it's starting mm. to move a little bit more towards the, the mirror this way. Mm. It's not going to go and change, obviously, from where it was to where it is. The last one, you had your club sort of pointing back there. Now it's pointing there. Over time, it will start sort of coming around to face towards the mirror or towards the camera, in effect, okay? But with a bit of practice with that, we can get the golf club in a better position. But again, from a good setup and a good start position, now nice and relaxed in the grip. As we came back to the golf ball, we turned back to the golf ball. Lovely strike, as we can see. Both feet nicely on the ground there, moving your body through. And we twist through in a nice balanced position there, finishing the swing. So it was a nice overall swing there, and you sort of went, wow, where's that come kind of thing? Because it was a good swing. There was no falling back with the feet there. The overall swing itself was nice and smooth, back and through. As you hit the golf ball, no problems at all. So focus on that process. Club down first, get your left hand on first. Mm. Get that check. As you see, two knuckles as your wrist on top. Mm. Then put your right hand on comfortably, just resting on top. Don't push it or squeeze it in. Mm. Then just sit on top there, okay? Then get your feet as wide as your shoulders. And then from there, just sort of think about that hinging of the wrist as that club goes back. That is the only thing we're going to try and do, okay? Once you get that correct, then the golf ball can go. But get away or try and avoid from that hitting a golf ball and the old stretching to reach the golf ball from there because that's going to put a lot of tension through your swing and you just get quicker and quicker and quicker. Hit a ball, step away, start again. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay.